this stepmom over and over about everything and nothing, he decided to leave Germany in 1890 and move to Mexico to find work as a photographer. He built a beautiful blue house, the famous Casa Azul, and married Matilda Calderon. They had four girls, of which the third was me, Frida Kahlo. Frida is a German name meaning peace, but my life was everything but peaceful. Today, I will tell you an exciting story full of beauty and pain, and the story of how I became a symbol of feminism and one of the most iconic painters in the world. Oh, did I introduce you to my best friend? There you are. This is my famous diary. Say hello. I am that clumsy human, always loving, 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 and never leaving. She's quite the chatterbox and will accompany us on our adventure. So, my dad's job was to photograph historical buildings and directly for the Mexican president. He earned enough money for us all to have a good life. But unfortunately, I was born with a malformation of the spine. Nobody knew about it until I was six years old. I could hardly move anymore and had to stay in bed for nine boring months. Fortunately, unlike my mother, I could read. Finished. Can someone bring me another book? Actually, make it 20, please. I was so happy when I was able to move again, but my right leg was thinner and even a little shorter than the left one. My classmates made fun of me. Ew, can't you put on a longer dress? Hey, catch me if you can, Miss Shrinky Leg. And my happiness was gone. I would go home, drop on my bed, and cry. To make matters even worse, my older sister Matilde ran away from home to live with her boyfriend. She thought my parents were too religious and strict and she couldn't live with them anymore. It kind of broke my heart when she left and it was my dad who helped me get over my sadness and loneliness. He also motivated me to do a lot of sports. You'll become stronger than all of them together, Frida. I even played football and learned boxing, which was an extraordinary thing to do for a girl. Sports also helped me get through the constant treatments I needed. You are very brave, little Frida. Just five more injections. Still better than six. My father loved me the most because I was the most intelligent and open-minded of his daughters. My sisters were a little jealous that he spent most of his time with me. See all the delicate veins on this leaf? Wow. Let's take a picture of it. He also showed me how to develop the photos I took in his own laboratory. But one of the things my sisters and I had in common was being annoyed by our mother, who wanted to make good housewives out of us. Adriana, have you finished mending the socks? Not yet, Mom. Christina, do you have the guacamole ready? Not yet, Mom. Frida, did you clean the toilet? I'll never do that. As a teenager, I dreamed of becoming a doctor that would help people and cure serious diseases. I had what it takes and was one of the first girls ever to be accepted into an elite high school with more than 2,000 male students. This is also where I met Diego Rivera for the first time. He was 20 years older than me and worked on a huge mural for the auditorium. Hey there, sweetie. Want to help me up here? I was impressed by the painting and the painter. As always, when I walk away from you, I carry your world and your life with me. And that's what I can't recover from. Can't you be quiet for once? My life was full of joy and great plans when I was accepted to university and began my medical studies. I even fell in love with the elegant Alejandro, the leader of the student union. That's a picture I painted of him. And then something terrible happened. One day when we took the bus home, it crashed into a streetcar. I suffered a severe back injury and both of my legs were broken. I only survived because Alejandro told the paramedics to take care of me first. I'm fine, I'm fine. For God's sake, save her. I couldn't continue my medical studies and for months, I had to wear a corset made of steel and a full body cast. And there I was, back in my stupid bed for a whole year this time. It was all too much for Alejandro, I guess. My articles are being published now, and I have so much to do. He left me. How much I would like to explain my suffering to you, minute by minute. To kill time, I started to paint. My father brought me paints, canvas, and brushes to bed. Can you please bring me a mirror, Dad? I was my own muse, the person I knew best. So I painted myself over and over again. I was alone and sad and in such pain, but I already knew how to deal with hardship. And I proved the doctors wrong who predicted I would never be able to walk again. 
Now, does that make you a bad doctor or a good doctor, dear doctor? It makes you a miracle, Miss Frida. Throughout my life, I had to go through about 32 surgeries. Proud to be alive, I left my bed again. And when I also met Diego Rivera again, it, it seemed to be fate. We fell in love, married immediately without giving it much thought, and traveled to the USA. I was 23 years old at the time, and nobody really knew me there. Diego, however, was already world famous. He was hired to paint a mural at Rockefeller Center and was given his own exhibition at the famous MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Everything in the US was so standardized and different, but I didn't want to blend in. I would always dress traditionally